This is our Player of the Week analysis. The first thing we're wrong in this play is that we have two trail officials, which means we missed a rotation on the other end of the floor. Our coverages are thrown off, and we have two sets of eyes on the primary ball matchup. Now we have the ball handler dribbler approaching the secondary defender who has obtained legal guard position. Let's see if he maintains legal guard position throughout the rest of this play. He retreats, which is legal. The contact by our ball handler dribbler is initiated into our secondary defender and eventually displaces our secondary defender. We have two questions to ask ourselves. Did the stepping on the foot of the secondary defender cause the displacement, which is a player control foul, or did the retreating of our secondary defender cause him to lose his balance, in which we have a no call? If you deem that the stepping on the foot of the secondary defender by a ball handler dribbler caused the illegal displacement, we have a player control foul. You are right. If you deem that the retreating secondary defender started to lose his balance prior to the stepping on the foot, you also would be correct. At the conclusion of this play, we have at least at a minimal lay of game as our ball handler dribbler holds the ball and throws it at the feet of our displaced secondary defender. At maximum, we have a technical fall or taunting or talking trash, however you want to frame it. There's a lot to this particular play. We hope that you enjoy our Play of the Week analysis.